Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be going over what exactly pivot tables are and what they are used for. You can utilize pivot tables in various ways to increase productivity, organization, and to quickly sort through large lists of data. In this video, I have taken data from the PGA Tour website for all data with the top 125 players from 2015 to 2021. There is a lot of data here, and in this video, we will demonstrate easy way to get data quickly organized. We will also go over a basic pivot table towards the end of the video that may be of more use. Let's get started. Firstly, open up your sheet of choice. Once you have all the information in sheets, click on data and then pivot table. This will open a pop-up and ask for a data range, and if you want this in a new or existing sheet. Sometimes it will display the suggested data range here. If this isn't shown here, click on the box with a plus symbol in the middle. This is data range. It will display the suggested range here. If you want a specific data range other than what's here, enter it on this line. If you're happy with the entire sheet, click on suggested and press OK. And then press create a new sheet. On the new sheet, this will display information in rows and columns. On the right side, this is your pivot table editor. Google Sheets will populate suggested data that you may be interested in. You can click on some of these to test them out. Most of the time, they don't make a ton of sense for what you would be looking for. Let's close these suggested items by pressing the X above each highlighted box under the rows and columns. If you accidentally click out of the table range, the table editor will disappear. You can simply click within the data range where rows and columns are highlighted like this. Let's try adding some information you may be interested in. As columns are displayed horizontally across the top of the sheet, let's add years to this. Under columns, click add and select the year. The number of years is now horizontally displayed across the top. Next under the rows tab, rows are displayed vertically. Let's click on add and select player name. This will display every single player who's been in the top 125 in the last six years on tour. Next under the value section, click on add again. Let's now add total strokes. This will display the total strokes for each player during the years they were top 125. If they weren't in the top 125, they won't have any numbers displayed for that year. Let's clear these and try something else. In the rows section, add AVG. Now also add the player name. Under the column section, add the year. You'll also need to add AVG or average to the value section. This will display the lowest scoring averages in the last five years. As you can see here, Dustin Johnson had the lowest in 2018. Simply remove AVG from rows and this will display all of the years that players were in the top 125. Any player who is missing from any year didn't make the top 125. Let's go over another quick example here. I have added random sales reps and items sold within one week. This includes all of the reps, items they have sold, and the amount for the purchase. Sorting through data this way is complicated. This is where we can sort through this with a pivot table. Highlight all data, select data on the top menu, and pivot table. We can now sort through sales reps and what items they have sold and exactly how much for each rep. Simply add the rep in the row section. In columns, let's add items sold. Values will be displayed between this table and the empty section. Next, enter values. Select the amount. This will display all of the items sold, by which sales rep, and the total amount they have sold. It seems here that Bill is the lowest seller, and the lowest selling items are lizards and cats. This can be useful information to use, especially going through marketing campaigns or sorting through employees, or sorting through weak points in your business. Add date to the rows section, and you can also see the total amount of items sold by account. Simply right click on this icon to collapse the expanded view. Our best seller is cat food. That's it for today's video. If you enjoy Pivot Table Basics, we can expand this into more in depth videos. Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn notifications on so you never miss another video. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.